second chapter is about the operators, where operators are the symbol which allows us to perform different mathematical or logical manipulation. There are four types of operators in Lua. Arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, miscellaneous operators. The first operator type we are going to discuss is the arithmetic operators. The arithmetic operators are the symbols which lets us do different mathematical manipulations. For example, let's create a Lua file named 2.operators.lua. Then we will create two variables. Variable first with the value 10 and variable second with the value 5. After that, write print first plus second, where plus is an arithmetic operator. Let's run this and here you can see the output. There are other operators like subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's type them in. Print first, minus second. Print first, multiply second. And print first, divide by second. Running the script, and here is the output. There are additional three arithmetic operators in Lua. They are modulus, exponent, and negation. The modulus operator gives us the reminder. For example, when we divide 5 by 2, then we get 1 as reminder. We can try this on Lua. Type print, 5% 2. It will divide 5 by 2 and gives 1 as output. To use exponent, we write print 5 circumflex symbol 3. This multiplies 5 three times, and the result is 125. We can use minus sign for negation. Typing print minus 5 plus 1, it will give output minus 4. There are some misc operators in Lua. One of them is concatenation. You can type dot dot to join two strings, for example. Write print. The value of first is first, and second is second. Let's run this script. And here we go. It joins our strings and variables, but there is something more you must know. Look at this string. It is written inside double quotation marks, but this variable named first is not inside such quotation marks because only string need quotes and variable doesn't. At last, there is concatenation operator in only one side of variable second. You don't need to write concatenation operator when it is before or after parentheses. Another misc operator is hash. It gives us the length of an string or table. Let's create an string variable named str and give it n value. We can print the length of this sentence by using this operator. Typing print hashtag star. And here is the length of string, which is 16 in our case. Now we are going to learn about relational operators using decision-making statements. First, I will create another file called relational operators and we'll open it. In most of the program we write, we have to make some decisions. And for making decisions, we will use if statement. You can write if and the condition to run the code in the middle. After that, you can write your code. I will write print, dance, and then to close the statement, I will write end. You can see that writing code in Luo is very, very easy compared to other languages. I create a variable above this value called my variable and give it a value one. Now to make this code run when the value of my variable is 1, we should write my variable equals equals 1 in place of condition. I will run the script. And here it prints the value. Let's change this one with 2 and run the script again. As you can see, there is no output. It's because this condition is not true and the code doesn't run. The equals equals operator we used here is called comparison operator. It compares two values. 
One thing you must remember here is that a single equals gives the value to a variable, and double equals compares two values. We can also check if one value is not equal to other. For that, I will create another if condition and write the operator tilde. Not only that, we have many other operators, and they are greater than, smaller than. We can mix them with equals to make, greater than and equals to, smaller than and equal to. I will change the print statement to print dance one, two, and three so that we will know which output is of which statement. Let's run the script. Here is the output, and let's compare this with our script. Dance was not printed, cause my variable is not equal to two. Dance one was printed, cause my variable was not equal to two. Dance two is printed, cause the value of my variable is bigger than zero. Dance three was printed, cause three is bigger than my variable. Dance four is printed, cause my variable is equal to one. One thing to remember here is that if the operator was only greater than, it would not print, cause one is not bigger than one. But it was printed, cause we also had equals sign with greater than symbol. At last, dance five did not print, cause my variable is neither smaller than zero nor equal to zero. Now we will learn about logical operators, which are and or not. So first, Create another file called logical operators and open it. To understand them, let's create a program, which checks if you liked and subscribed. For that, we will create two variables called like and subscribe, and I will give them the value true. Here this is called boolean value, which is whether true or false. I didn't tell about them in the variable chapter cause I wanted to show an example here. Now I will create three if statements with and or Not. Let's run the script. Comparing the result, we find that the first message was printed, cause, both like and subscribe were true. For an and condition to run, both value must be true. In the second part it printed, cause our values were true. In or condition if any condition is true then, it will be true. Let's change like to false and run the script. Look at the output, 
it still prints the message, but the first if condition didn't print the message. The second condition printed the message cause at least one of them was true. The third if condition will only do something if nothing is true. For example, let's make both like and subscribe false and run the script. Comparing the results, and we see that it printed the third message. You can work with a combination of these operators and create more complex decisions. So this much for this chapter. Don't forget to try everything yourself. And you can always download this codes from my description and look at it. And bookmark or save this playlist cause all Lua tutorial videos will be posted here.